So welcome to part two in the series on being a man that loves himself. Being, you know, it's an extension of Anthony's video and this is and this is the part two where we do the, the uh, visualization and the revealing process. So hopefully you did the homework from last week's videos. You, if you didn't go back and look at last week's video and definitely check out Anthony's video on being the chooser. And in last week's video, we talked a lot about what do you want as a man? Who are you as a man? You know, are you picky? Uh, do you know what you want? Are you out there just chasing women to get validation or do you know what you want and you're being picky and inviting a woman into your powerful world, a world where you don't need her validation, but you enjoy it when you get it. And the reason, let's, let me put it another way. The reason you want to become that man is because you want the most confident, powerful women, right? And this is going to allow you to get that type of woman in your life. Now, as you start to pick this stuff up and start to figure this out, I did want to say something. If you're at that phase in your life where you want to date a lot, then you're going to have certain qualities you want in women you want to date as you're learning to get to know them more. If you start to reach the point in your life where you're really looking to settle down and meet that awesome woman, you're going to start to probably get pickier and pickier. You're going to have more qualities in your life. There'll be areas where you're not picky at all, where you're very open and yeah, you know, whatever you want in this area is awesome. And that's cool, but there's going to be other areas that are going to be deal breakers. This is not what I want in a partner. This is not what I want in a woman. This is not the life experience I want to have with somebody else. You know, maybe an example would be maybe you don't want to have kids and she really wants children. That's a huge deal breaker. And there's no point in wasting your time in a long-term relationship with somebody who, uh, who is in that place. And so l figuring that stuff out is huge. Maybe she wants to live in Europe and you want to live in the United States. These are deal breakers when you think about it. If people are hard, fast, and set on, on these types of ideas. So figure out what you really want and as you get pickier and pickier and know the specific qualities you want in a, in a woman and and in yourself, you're going to become that much more powerful. So if you haven't reviewed that video, definitely go back and review it. If you haven't watched it, that is, go back and review it. If you haven't watched Anthony's video on being the chooser because these are all coming together, then make sure you do that too. So uh, with that said, there were th there's a few areas that I really want to cover when it comes to looking at this from a visual imagery perspective. One is, as a man, what do you feel about yourself as a man? Do you like yourself as a man? Do you like being a man? Do you like being the masculine? Do you love the masculine? Do you love your own feminine in a sense too? You know, the masculine version of your feminine, which is your ability to feel. Uh, are you comfortable with your sexuality, your personal power when it comes to sex? Do you like being a man that has a cock and balls? Do you like being a sexual being? Are you comfortable uh, with, uh, you know, the type of sex you want, what you want from sex? And can you be really honest with your partner about it? Can you be a real grounding solid container for her in that area? Another area that's very powerful is knowing what you want in a woman, which we already talked about. So let's take a deeper look at this. And with no further ado, let's dive in right away. So take a few deep breaths and then just let those breaths out and relax. And now I want you to take a few more breaths, but I want you to take them through the nose, rest the tongue on the roof of your mouth, and just let them be a calming, relaxed breath. Breath in and a breath out. And then imagine that with each breath that you're bringing in positive intention and with each exhale, you're letting go. You're just letting go of any anxiety or stress and you're calming the body. Getting those really good feeling, warm, fuzzy chemicals to pump into the body. And now as you continue these breaths, with each breath, I want you to imagine or ask or allow your body to open a little bit more, particularly in the chest and begin to welcome the idea that your heart is opening more and more to these ideas. The idea that you can fall in love with these ideas, that you can fall in love with being a man, that you can fall in love with being a man that doesn't apologize for loving sex and, and being a sexual being, and that you can fall in love with being a man that loves women and that appreciates women and knows exactly what he wants in a woman and doesn't apologize for setting a standard for having an awesome relationship a high standard for having an awesome relationship. So just kind of relax into that and welcome that feeling again and ask your heart to open up to these ideas and allow your heart to open a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And then I want you to welcome these ideas. Welcome all the ideas that you looked at over the week that you've been developing around being this powerful man that knows exactly what he wants. A man that's no longer chasing validation doesn't mean he doesn't enjoy it when it comes to him, but he likes himself so much he doesn't need it to be happy. So 
just just welcome that feeling and notice if you can relax into it a little bit more and as you look at these qualities and then you look at yourself do you like yourself do you like who you're being right now listening to this video or recording and be really honest can you welcome exactly who you are now without changing a thing? Can you welcome all your negative thinking that might be coming up as much as you do? And just be with that negative thinking, all those negative thoughts, doubts, and worries, whether it's just a little bit or whether it's a lot. And just listen to them and then welcome a little bit more. And then welcome some more and some more. And I want to invite you into the idea that you can relax into hearing these thoughts and taking them less and less personal. And if there's any part of you that's resisting accepting these thoughts or saying, no, I can't accept them, I want you to welcome that too. Just notice that you can be in resistance and just observe that. Watch yourself saying, no, 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 I'm not accepting this. This is unacceptable. Just watch yourself go through that process too, if that's going on. And just be with it for a moment. Now I want you to let that go. Just move your mind away and move your mind over to the part of yourself that likes yourself exactly the way you are right now. Even if it's 1% or 100%. Just allow yourself to like yourself as much as you do. Maybe there's some quality or some part of yourself you really like. Or maybe you're just learning to like yourself a little bit more and a little bit more each moment. And just welcome that feeling and allow your heart to open as much as you do. Allow your heart to open a little bit more and a little bit more and even a bit more. And just allow yourself to feel what it feels like to enjoy you. And notice what it's like for you to be a man. Notice what it's like to be grounding, to be containing, to be leading, whatever that means for you. To be a leader. To be somebody that can handle the shit when the shit hits the fan. And I don't want you to welcome that feeling as much as you do. And just notice what it feels like. And now let's go to the other side again, the part of yourself that you don't like about being a man. Is there any part of yourself right now that you're judging, picking on, or beating up, or that's unacceptable? And just allow yourself to welcome that as much as you do. And just sit with that for a minute. And notice you can look right at it. You can be with it. You can relax into it. It can hurt. It can be painful but you can be with it. You can handle it because you are a man. And each moment you look at it, even if it's unacceptable, you get more and more comfortable being with that feeling. And it starts to lose power over you. Just like as a child, sometimes we're scared of the dark. We think the dark is something bad. When we start looking at our shadow, the darkest parts of ourselves, our negative thinking, sometimes we get a little scared. But as you wake up, you begin to see they're just thoughts. They have no real power over you. And then you can just let go and move your mind away again. And just drop those negative thoughts for a bit. You can come back to them later if you want and move to the part of yourself that loves yourself, that loves you being a man, that loves you being the best parts of being a man, whatever that means to you. And just welcome that feeling now as much as you do. And then welcome it a bit more, and then a bit more, and even a bit more. And just sit with it for a little bit and notice what that feels like. And then feel that down in your stomach too and see if you can open your stomach a bit, just like you did your heart. And welcome the feeling of being a powerful man, a leader, a man that gets shit done, that handles the shit when the shit hits the fan. A 
man that's good at containing, grounding, stepping into tension. A man that loves being the masculine in the world that doesn't have to tell it to the world, but is just proud of who he is as a man and becoming more proud and actually more courageous, courageous in this area each day. So just sit with that for a little bit and notice what that feels like. Notice where you feel it in the body and what sensations or thoughts come up. And then notice how good it can feel. Even if it's only 1%, because that 1% will turn into two and then three and then four and eventually 100. Now, let this go too. Just let it go. Let it work in the background. Let it do its magic as you move back to the side of yourself that's dark, that doesn't like yourself around being a man. And notice what that feels like. Is it losing some of its hold over you each time you look at it? Are you realizing you can look right at your self-doubts and hear the thoughts and see the images and the feelings? And you can also just look away. And each time you do that, they get weaker and weaker. So just look at it again. Look at your shadow. Look at the darkest parts of yourself. And ask yourself, are these just thoughts and feelings? Do they have any real power over me other than the power I give them? And then allow yourself to just let them go again and go back to that positive side of yourself. And allow yourself to love being a man again. And feel what it's like to step into your power as a man as you're developing more ability to step into tension, to lead, and to ground, and to become the most powerful version of yourself. And then now let's go back to that dark energy again, that negative side of yourself, and just welcome that again. And notice those thoughts and feelings. And notice again, just with a choice, you can look right at them. You can choose to let them be painful and sad and hurt as much as they are. Maybe they don't even hurt at all anymore. And then you could just let go and move away and go back to the positive again. And then go back to the negative side of being male. And then go back to the positive and sit with that for a bit and notice what that feels like and ask your heart to open, ask your stomach to open. And then go back to that dark side again and ask your heart to open ask your stomach to open and sit with it for a bit. And then I want you to ask yourself, can I welcome these feelings at a deeper level? And you'll notice you'll either can and you can welcome them and you can be with these emotions, whatever they are. Or maybe your body's saying you can't and they either, both answers are fine. If you feel in, like you're in resistance or you can't do it, just be with that for a moment. Sit with that for a moment and say, it's okay to be in resistance. It's okay to say, no, I'm not ready to welcome this. It's okay to be stubborn. Because you might notice as you give yourself permission to be stubborn, you become more and more comfortable welcoming in the background. It just kind of happens. So now move away again and just drop it and let it go and go back to the other side and welcome any part of yourself that's starting to feel more powerful as a man, whether that's in the gut or the heart, and just allow yourself to open up and fall in love with this idea. And just be with the best parts of yourself. You're increasing grounding, you're increasing uh, heart, you're increasing containing ability, your ability with tension. And then allow yourself to feel that part of yourself that's becoming a chooser. Allow yourself to feel that part of yourself that steps into tension and says, this is what I want. And allow your heart to open up to your choices. Allow your heart to open up to you knowing exactly what you want. Everything you created last week. Just be with that for a moment. And notice what that feels like. All the sensations, thoughts, and emotions that come up with that. And just be with that. Notice that. Feel that. And ask your heart to open to that and see if you can become more and more accepting to your ideas or more and more in love with your ideas as you open your heart. Can you love them? Can you appreciate them? Can you nurture them? This is what I'm choosing as a man. And I'm going to put it out there in the world for the world to see, for the world to hear, for the world to know. So I can draw it back to me. Not to get, but to give. To invite in women that fit the criteria that are the perfect match for me. So just welcome that idea again. 
and just be with that. And now let's roll back and down deeper into the body. Actually, that's where we want to go. We want to go deeper. And I want you to welcome the idea of your turn on. Feel your hips, feel the lower part of your body and ask that area to open just like we did the heart, but do it down in the turn on. And feel your turn on start to connect to this idea. Can you welcome that part of yourself that's the chooser with your heart and just start to welcome it a bit more? Be with it, relax into it. Can you drop into your stomach and feel your personal power wrapped up in it? And now can you drop down into your turn on? Can you get turned on for being the chooser, for drawing the perfect women into your life? Offering that turn on as a gift to these beautiful women that want to be turned on, that want to make love to a man just like you. So welcome that turn on and welcome that turn on for these beautiful women. Welcome that turn on for yourself and allow yourself to become a bit more turned on as you feel your hips, as you feel your pelvis and a bit more and a bit more. Whatever that means to you, maybe it's a tingling, maybe it's a warmth. And now I want you to take this idea again and I want you to welcome more love for it. You might feel that in the chest area, this opening, this expanding, this love for this idea of what you're choosing, what you're creating for you as a man and also what you're choosing in a relationship. And just allow that heart to open a bit more and a bit more and even a bit more. Feeling up the whole space around you and even beyond as your heart goes out to the world, letting the world know exactly what you're calling into it through love, through compassion, through gratitude, through appreciation. And now allow your stomach to open up to this idea, feeling your personal power getting invested, where you begin to ground into this idea, feeling that sense that I can do it. Matter of fact, allow yourself to hear those words and then feel those feelings in the body. I can do it. I will do it. This is what I'm calling into my life. Feel the power in the gut. Feel the gut open. As the powerful gut brain takes over to instinctually bring this into your life. And now drop down a little bit more and feel your turn on for this idea. Feel yourself getting turned on, passionate, aroused for bringing this into your life and giving that turn on away to the world. Your passion, your arousal, that warmth or that tingling. And just welcome it a bit more and a bit more, and even a bit more. And ask yourself, can you just let it all go? Can you let go of the whole idea just for a moment and just be? And just sit with your heart open, your stomach relaxed, and your turn on. See, the power in letting go is that you let it go out to the world to do its work, trusting that it's going to connect with the right people, situation, places, and things to bring this stuff into your reality. So just allow that to happen as much as you do. And just be with it. And now let's come back to the present moment. And one more time, welcome up this idea. This idea that you love being a man, a man that chooses exactly what he wants in life that's becoming the chooser and allow yourself to feel that fully and ask your heart to open as much as you do to fall in love with that idea. And then ask your heart to open some more and even more and then ask yourself, can I fully accept this part of myself that's masculine and powerful? And then drop down to the stomach and feel your power, feel your courage, feel your decisiveness about creating this new reality. And just sit in that more moment. And then drop down to your turn on and welcome that. And feel your sense of turn on. Your sense of passion. That part of you that wants to bring passion and turn on to the world to create all kinds of things. It's your creative energy you turn on, and it's so powerful. So one more time, can you welcome all of this, and then can you just let it go? Can you let it go and let yourself reveal the next step of your journey? Can you reveal what's beyond all of this? 
Can you reveal what you're going to do today and tomorrow to bring this in? What you can do today and tomorrow to even solidify this more into your body? What does that feel like? What do these feelings feel like? Even if you can't get images or clear steps, can you reveal the feelings, the feeling of certainty, the feeling of love, the feeling of appreciation or joy as you step deeper into these parts of your body? That's beautiful. And now welcome anything that's coming up for you right now. And then just ask yourself, can I just drop it and let it go? And then one more time, welcome any resistance that might be coming up, any stress, any feelings, anything holding me back, and then just drop it and let it go. And ask your heart to open a little bit more. And just notice how good that feels to the body. And I want you to welcome the idea that you're becoming the most powerful version of your masculine self, that you're welcoming the idea of falling in love with being this powerful version of your masculine self. That you can just step into it. You can be with it. You can relax into it. And let's step one more time beyond this. And I want you to welcome the best version of your masculine self that doesn't apologize for being male, but loves it instead. That part of you lets go of any resistance for being turned on, but just loves it instead. So welcome up any resistance to your turn on, to your cock and balls as a man, to being masculine. And just ask yourself, can I just let that go? And can you welcome the looseness that takes its place, the relaxation? And then again, let's go back to the heart and welcome any resistance to loving being male, loving being the chooser, loving having an amazing relationship or relationships. Welcome that resistance and then just ask yourself, can I let that go? And then welcome the love. Maybe it's only 1%, maybe it's 2%, but can you welcome a bit more? And then go back to the turn on and welcome any feelings you got there. And then notice if there's any resistance. And if there's any resistance to your turn on, ask yourself, can you let that go? Can I let that go? Can I drop it? And then just welcome more and more turn on. Then let's come back to the heart. Welcome any resistance to loving being a masculine man, a powerful man. And notice if there's any resistance and then ask yourself, can I just let that go? And then welcome more love. And then let it go some more and some more, welcoming more and more love. Then let's drop back down to the turn on and welcome any turn on. Turn on for being this masculine turned on man that loves being his best version of himself, that loves being a sexual being that is giving to the world through his turn on, through his creative energy, and then welcome that. And then ask yourself, is there any resistance to that? And can you just let it go? Let it fade away, leaving more and more passion, more and more turn on for life, for being a man, and for what you're going to create. And now can you just welcome and let it all go? Like you're letting a balloon go into the air. But in this case, it's going to float away and find the right people, the right things, the right situations to bring these scenarios into your life. And as that balloon floats away, just let it float off and do exactly what it needs to do. And I just want you to sit here now and relax into this feeling. Relax into whatever feeling is left over. And just let your mind... Come back to the space slowly. And when you're ready, you can come back into the room, open your eyes, or you can lay there for a little while and bask in this feeling. And just be relaxed. Be a confident man. Be a turned on man. As it goes deeper and deeper into your subconscious mind each time you listen to this. It's beautiful. So I want to thank you guys for being on this call. This was a lot of fun to do. Um... And just let yourself change a little bit at a time. There is no rush. We, we try to do things too fast. We try to shift too fast. And sometimes when you got years of going in one direction, it takes a little bit to shift. And think of it as a, you got a big ocean liner and you got to turn and it doesn't turn on a dime, but you turn and it slowly turns. And as it turns every day, it, 
it goes a little bit more and eventually it starts going in the right direction. And when it's going in the right direction, it's powerfully and boldly gonna be heading in that direction. That is what's so powerful. Because once it's in going in the right direction, there's no stopping it. It's part of you now. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. And I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love for you to share. I'd love for you to like and subscribe, help us to grow the channel. Uh, definitely put some comments in. I'd love to hear your comments if you really enjoyed this. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.